Husbands, love your wives. Oh, that's a staggering word, love your wives. Even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Now, I don't know anywhere in the whole Bible that God asks of such a sacrifice. That God demands such a sacrifice. I want you to think, even as Christ loved the church, don't love just as best as you can. Love just as Christ loved the whole world, that which eventually became his of the world, and gave himself. Look at the cross. Without looking at the cross, you couldn't even begin to perceive what depth there is in God's love. You won't even be able to begin to understand within a billion miles what God means by his love for the world. But look at the cross long enough and you will weep. You will weep. And he says to the husbands, I want you to love her in a way that you're willing to die for her, for her well-being. Not one day, brother. Not once a year, brother. In every circumstance, brother. That your children especially know it. Because if they don't know it, you're defying God. And they'll know it. Without you having to give your life literally, they'll know it. You would die for this woman, her well-being. And that's what God asks of you, husbands. To the degree you can submit yourselves to God's control by the Holy Spirit, which is what it means is to be filled with the Spirit, control, to the degree you allow God to control you, He will give you that grace, ladies. He will give you that grace, sir. Outside of that, you can't love like that. So don't even try without yielding to God. The wonderful thing about Christianity is not a set of rules. It's yielding. I have not come to destroy the law of the prophets, but to fulfill it. How? By you yielding, and I'll spontaneously fulfill the law and the prophets without any effort of your own, just spontaneously, no matter how trying the circumstances, to the degree you are yielded, Christ lives out his life to you through the Holy Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit, the evidence, the Holy Spirit's in control of you, is Christ. Love suffereth long. All of that is Christ, the fruit, the fruit. Only God can do that through you. That's why this word love is agape. It's not human love. It's a love to the degree you allow God to live his life through you. <laughs>